Now, from a terminology standpoint, there's a couple of terms you want to familiarize yourself with. When it comes to SDN controller, we have what's called a southbound interface or SBI for short. That's the interface that's responsible for communicating with the network endpoints like the routers and switches and firewalls, the load balancers and all that. And all the devices, the endpoints get programmed by the SDN controller through the southbound interface. Now, how does the controller know what to push or what policy to push to the network endpoints? Well, I'm glad you asked because that's where northbound interface comes in. Through the northbound interface, we can potentially log into a GUI. So for example, if it's a Cisco ACI solution, it has a nice GUI, you log into it and you go ahead and start defining different logical constructs and templates that allow us to create an underlay and overlay network. And it makes it real simple for us to be able to configure all the network devices. Now, this Cisco provided portal is an example of a native application on the SDN controller. It's an application natively written and designed by Cisco software developers to facilitate the deployment of ACI within our data center, for example. But we're not necessarily restricted to that. We could use third-party automation tools like Ansible, Chef, Puppet, or the automation tool of your choice, and you can go ahead and configure all of your network devices through these automation tools. You'll basically, you, you'll typically pick one automation tool like Ansible, for example, and use that as a primary way of defining your playbooks to be able to configure your entire network fabric. Now, building on that terminology, we have southbound APIs versus northbound APIs. Now, before, I get into the details of those APIs. Well, let me first define what the term API stands for. It stands for Application Programming Interface. API is a method for one application to exchange data with another application. So let me explain. So the southbound API allows the SDN controller to program all the network endpoints that are located south of the SDN controller through OpenFlow, which is an open standards-based SDN solution, or it could be Cisco proprietary OpFlex SDN solution used by APIC. The southbound API could leverage CLI, things like Telnet or SSH. Like I said, Telnet is unsecure, so you should be looking into deploying SSH version two to be specific. Also SNMP for network monitoring. And um, the Southbound API could also be leveraging NetConf, which is an IETF protocol, which means it's an open standard protocol used for installing, manipulating, and deleting the configuration of network devices. It's very popular in the industry right now and you'll learn a lot more about NetConf at a CCNP, CCIE level. But here, all you need to know is that it's a very popular mechanism used for network automation today. Now, when it comes to defining what the SDN controller needs to do, is that's where the northbound API comes in. And northbound API typically leverages RESTful API and REST stands for representational state transfer, or it could be using a Java API. It just depends on the RESTful API is the most popular API because it uses HTTP verbs, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.